What's up, you two? This is Jesse here at Freedom Breeder, and today we're gonna break down the spot nose gene for those of you that. For those of you that don't know too much about spot nose, hopefully I can teach you some stuff and show you some spot nose combos, some single gene spot nose, and what we got here at Freedom Breeder, a couple snakes. Oh man, this is not the best example of a spot nose I've ever seen in my life. Okay, yeah, so there is some spot nose that are not as extreme, but this is a perfect example to show you all the badass characteristics that are high expression. Signature head stamp, they got a crazy head pattern and everything. This one's super fired up. Oh, that's the main characteristic. Like they have crazy head stamps and that's the easiest way. Most of the time when the body does look completely normal, there's a nice ass head stamp that will kind of scream spot nose. So always keep that in mind. That's the easiest way to tell spot nose. Then the other thing is they got a super busy pattern compared to your average normal and a lot more tan than dark brown than the regular normal. So you'll see like a lot of the alien heads, they'll have more of like a faded look right here. A lot of times you'll see faded look on the, the, the inside of the alien heads in some places the broken pattern and like some banding going on towards the back. And like I said, you're gonna see a lot more of this light color all over, more than you are gonna see this darker color. Almost like a Woma look. Spot Nose does not work well with Spider, Hidden Gene Walma. Uh, champagne and doesn't work well as super either. Um, it does work as a super, but it doesn't work well. Like you end up with sometimes messed up faces, uh, kinks, uh, head wobble, corkscrewing and stuff. But as a single gene, super badass. All right, so super spot nose is super badass if you got like the nice line of it, you know what I mean? And um, this one doesn't have too much head wobble, but it gets a little head tilt. Um, but this is what you can make with spot nose when you make combos. That's the real deal right there. Super badass. See what it is? Tell me, tell me you've seen one of these before. You haven't, because it's too badass. Pastel Yellow Belly GHI Super Spot Nose. Super banging. Look at that tail. So much craziness going on here, it's not even funny. This one is very, very low issues. See how it kind of swung its head back and forth? But I mean, all snakes kind of do that. But this one has a good head on its shoulders. Ha! I was just trying to show the what you can experience, even though it's super badass. But it's not really, this one doesn't have too much of an issue. Okay, so this is your average clown. I'm going to show you what a spot nose clown does. See that head stamp is crazy, but I mean, like, clowns are all different. Like this isn't this doesn't mean every clown's gonna look like this. Some clowns are more dark brown and less uh, uh, golden and stuff. And then this might be because head albino. But you just get to see like that nice head stamp until you touch it. <laughs> until you pop it, <laughs> pop it one time. <clears throat> but you touch it. compare it to that. That did it on its own. I didn't do that. All right, check that head stamp out. Super, super badass, and you see it's more like busy, broken up, badass signature head stamp compared to your average clown right here on your left or right. I don't know which one it is. You figure it out, but this one right here. So if you look, you can just see the spot nose right off the bat. Like this would be a normal clown, spot nose clown. Now, as you can see, it's definitely not a reach. It's a gene. All right, so this would be a pastel quake comparing it to a pastel spot nose. See how it's got a lot more of that tan coming through, which in, when you mix it with the pastel, it gets a little more grayish. And you get the head stamp is kind of busy versus this one where it's clean. The head stamp is serious. It's seriously not getting any light. And I'm gonna just help you out here. The head stamp is much brighter and more grayish and more blushing and everything when you have the spot nose with pastel. Then you got your pastel head stamp, which is you're just regular, clean, not busy. 
And then not only that, you got the, the lighter colored patterning, less of it is broken up, more busy. Got the neck striping. Usually that's what Spot Nose does when you mix it with a pastel. And then back here, it starts getting broken up. And that's where the busyness comes in. When you make supers, they get even more crazy. So that's a pastel spot nose next to a pastel. This is the Freedom Breeder line of vanilla mixed with spot nose. Super crazy head stamp like usual. Got some neck striping. A lot more of the light tan than the dark tan. It's busy, broken up pattern similar to the Walma. She's got a meal in her, so we're gonna make this quick. And signature head stamp. And you get those blushings from the vanilla mix with the uh, little more extreme on when you mix vanilla with spot nose, but that's even more. Uh, whoa. Faded out spots up towards the neck. All right, let's put that one back. She's gonna fire it up. This is the grand finales. All right, so what we got here is the leopard spot nose, super badass. Got the neck striping up towards the front. Got more of the tans than you do got the darks. And uh, down here, it's all broken up and mostly tan and busy pattern. This is a leopard spot nose. Got the crazy head stamp all day. You have to touch it. I do. Say it again. And we got the crazy... Stop touching it! Just say it, stop touching! Head stamp. Say it one more time. Got the crazy head stamp. Check it out. Super banging. Look at that amazing Coco Blocks background. Makes everything look so much better with that super chunk. That's that chunk, chunk master fresh. And let's see if we can find any of those faded out spots in the neck. Yeah, see right there. We'll fade it out. That's kind of the only one I've seen. There's a couple more right there. But yeah, super nice. All right, what'd you guys think about that? It's pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Got to break it down. Hopefully that helped you guys learn something about spot nose gene and ball pythons. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you guys want to check out what we have available, check out our website at www.freedombreeder.com or you can check our stuff out that we have available on Morph Market. And if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, please do slap that like button, to show your support, and turn on those notifications to be notified for the next upcoming video. You guys have a great one. Oh man, we missed the Raven Leopard on the last one. Oh, I thought I had pulled the Raven Leopard. Man, that thing's super banging. Nobody needs to see that anyway, it's too much heat. We Tell are. Go. Show some super <laughs> That's how I feel about that. He's in the back lighting it up. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna bust down that, that spot nose Um, Being spot nose. Super badass head stamp. No. <laughs> okay, no, don't touch. No touchy. So this video is about spot nose and spot nose combos, and hopefully we can inform you guys on some some of the genetic characteristics. So let's. Uh, Brian is Still backlight. uh, backlighting it up. We're gonna bust down these cocoa blocks all day because they're the best. All right, what do you want to talk about? Some spot nose. You want to, wait, we need a single gene spot nose to start this. Man, I had one in the other room. That's why I was asking you. Are we going to start in there? Or? Yeah. We can just give you a show here and then pick up over there. Okay. Let's do this thing like, like we getting lit. We pretending about getting lit. But are we lit? We are lit. Oh, man, she's a little fired up. Okay, all right, moved up. Oh man, we should put it next to a regular clown. All right, so we have nothing left on spot nose and that'll end it for the night. All right, guys. Brian didn't do his job.